national emergency alert. Uh, you can hear the wind like, <laughs> like hoo, hoo. oh my goodness, you guys, Hurricane Milton is coming. Am I scared? I don't know. Is it going to be bad? I don't know. I know I trust God. But... So anyways, I'm at Walmart. It's super packed. Let's go inside and let's um, get some stuff to be prepped for this storm i also got to go to dollar street and then go get some dog food at tractor supply um but yeah you guys so let's go okay you guys so i'm at walmart we're gonna see what they have i hope they're not sold out of everything i know we got one case of water at the house we're gonna see you guys and plus i have a toddler so i have to be careful that i get him snacks that are like not really sugary like i don't want to get both of them snacks that are like sugary so <laughs> And then we're gonna see how long these lines are. So yeah, let's go, you guys. How much are these oranges? Four ninety eight. Okay, guys. So I'm in the fruit produce section. I would buy this sofrito, but I'm gonna try you show you guys, y'all. This is the best sofrito. If you buy for sofrito, get this. This is like the best kind. So yeah. Um, oh. Hi. How are you? chili what is this okay guys so i'm trying to get some soup but it seems like everybody done took took the chicken noodle soup so i guess nobody likes meatball chicken soup <laughs> i'm like i would get this but i don't like the meatballs in it like come and go if you guys try this um also um they got this one left I, maybe i should take it nobody wants it because it looks like this but maybe i should just take it right here i guess we'll do this what is condensed yeah we'll probably just do this right here i guess god left that one can for me <laughs> but yeah then they got chicken noodle soup maybe we should do cream of chicken soup they got bean with bacon soup that's interesting but yeah so i'm gonna let you guys know what else i get i still gotta go to dollar tree but Walmart is not as bad as I thought, but there are like a, a lot of empty shelves. So yeah. So, oh, three two. Banana cookies. Banana cookies. Tractor supply. I'm getting puppy food. Oh lord, it's 34. And so we got the dog food, guys. And the bag is ripped, so that's why it's reduced. But yeah, so we're on our way home to make some spaghetti. And I'm gonna talk to you guys at the house. All right, you guys. So I have made it back home. Everything's here. I'm making a quick spaghetti. I don't know if this is gonna be like the last hot meal until like the hurricane and everything, the power. I don't I don't know if the power is gonna go out. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm just trying to make a home cooked meal before, you know, everything goes down. Um, when I came in, Jeremiah was throwing a huge tantrum because he was hungry, um, but I got stuck in traffic. So it was packed out there. I'm like, what is everybody doing out here? Um, I know there were some people evacuating their trailers and things like that, but sorry about the volume of the movie, but. It's Amir's eighth birthday. We actually celebrated this week. Here's his banner right here. We celebrate. We celebrated this week. This was all decked out in Sonic right here. Um, Wait, I need 
show you my shopping toy. Let me see. Whoa, that's Amir's new toy. And look. Is this your favorite one that you got? <laughs> he has all the King Kong characters and stuff, but that's his favorite that he got. Why isn't it lighting up? Woo, is that dope, y'all? We got that from Target. But yeah. Jeremiah? Jeremiah? DJ, he can't, you can't leave that dog food in here, man. You can't leave that dog food. Here, here, man. Come here. Jeremiah, you want to eat with me? Get out of that, please, sir. Get out of that, sir. Get out of that, sir. Sir. No. You can't. Jeremiah, stop throwing dog food out of the thing. You're going to bed. Let's go to bed. Come on. Come on, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed, Jeremiah. Hey, girl. Hey. So I am currently sitting here in the closet. <laughs> and it is around, I want to say almost 12 a.m., which I chose an interesting time to come in here and pray. But the kids are asleep it's about like i said 12 a.m i when i had got home from the, all the stores and stuff i had made spaghetti um i was tempted to go to taco bell but <laughs> i'm like nah nah i don't like giving my kids you know all this fast food like i don't you know so and before the the storm or whatever i wanted to have like a good want us to have a good home cook feeling meal before we may have to eat like a whole bunch of like dry foods and stuff. It was crazy. I was, y'all, when I had left here, it was like around 6 p.m. And there was like so much traffic, but there was only so much traffic like one way, like going toward the stores. They're good. We are all stocked up. I can't, I, I mean, I can't really say that I'm, a, I'm not really afraid. But I, I know each and every year, when I look back at the faithfulness of God, he has always preserved us and protected us. Y'all stay safe out there. I plan on vlogging more. So let me know if you guys, you know, enjoy this vlog. I would love to talk to you guys more. Talks where we just like talk about, I don't know, surrendering to Christ, wisdom in the Lord. I'm your Christian mama friend. I just want to like grow in Christ together, share the relatable. And, but anyways, I am about to go lay down. I don't know if I'm going to go to sleep. For anybody that lost anybody in North Carolina, I'm going to be praying for you. Oh, you know, you guys stay safe. Um, everybody in Florida, stay safe. We're going to make this through, you guys. We're going to make this through, y'all. Catch me on shorts. I'm actually on shorts way more often than I am um, vlogging YouTube. So, but I am going to start picking up on vlogging because I have to break the ice. Hey, y'all. So, we are currently at Home Depot. It is actually the day before the hurricane is supposed to fall but we just got some snacks from family dollar and right now we're at home depot to board up our windows of our newly built homes how many windows we got we got god is good because so all together honestly i'm not gonna lie you guys we've spent probably a hundred dollars on snacks and things like but it's gonna get eight in regardless because it's things that we like but um, I don't think my, I don't I think that I should never got the chili and stuff. But it came up to two hundred dollars, and plus I had to get uh, something for hmm. keeping it on the window, and they got something called a. Uh, I can't like, see this sign. Some sort of little. Uh, I don't know. DJ, if it costs two hundred. What is that? It like goes on the window. y'all this is my last post before the hurricane comes I and i just want to say that jesus is king Mama, okay I'm no honey you already had a grand bar jesus king i ain't gonna say it's my last post ever 
because I know the Lord is going to preserve us. He's faithful. He's faithful. He has preserved us this long. And so I've been here eight years. I've been going through this hurricane thing eight years. And so am I nervous? I think I do get a little nervous, you know, every time. I mean, either I'm going to be in fear or I'm not going to be in faith. And I'd rather be in faith because fear will have you sitting here rocking back and forth having a whole panic, panic attack. Just trying to savor it. Anyways, if y'all didn't know, I do live in Florida. I'm actually from Washington State. My husband and I, we actually met in Washington State. He was in the Army like eight years ago. And so when we had our first son, we ended up driving out here because he's originally from Florida. So we ended up driving out here and we have been here ever since. And so we in Florida now. I love it now. So what am I supposed to do? Can I say that we're prepared? I... From a one to a 10, I would say that we're about six, 70%, 60, 70% prepared. I mean, I wish we would have got more flashlights, more battery, um, like a battery operated fan. I wish we would have did stuff like that. But I got, feel like God had been speaking to me about getting certain things like that on and off, on and off. But what I'm learning is do not delay when you hear the voice of God or when you hear like something, you know what I'm saying? But we're good. We got our snacks and things like that. And the house is a mess, so I really want to get that clean um, before the hurricane comes. Because I don't want us, like, tripping over anything. or I just want a clean house. National emergency alert for a tornado. A tornado, okay? And it's raining hard, okay, you guys? So, I don't know. I have, like, these little butterflies in my chest. <sighs> So it is a day after Hurricane Milton, and I'm so blessed to be alive, you guys. The Lord has preserved us. Every year, he is faithful to preserve us for his mighty purpose. For such a time as this, I'm so grateful, you guys. But it got crazy last night. I'm not even going to lie, you guys. Like, the wind and the rain start blowing. You can see the wind ripples in the grass. Our fence was wobbling. Like, we got flash flow warnings, tornado warnings, like, three different times. Uh, you can hear the wind like oh, it'd be like whoo, whoo. um um the power flickered on like once or twice but we didn't lose power by the grace of god husband and i and our two sons we all slept in the same room because ain't nobody sleeping in a room by themselves we ain't playing that we all slept in one room and since i'm weaning, i'm weaning my toddler off you know i'd wake up like a couple times through the night and so I would hear the wind like and everything going on outside and my heart would start pounding again but it's like I, I had this inner peace like God was going to preserve us and it really helped that our our house also was made out of like you know concrete like like our house in the our windows is like you know it was built 2023 and so it is it's actually built for these conditions so that was another that's another thing that I'm grateful for but the only thing that was jacked up when we woke up was our fence and glory to God, we took pictures of our fence because we knew there was going to be possible damage, which we're not the only ones that had damage on our fence. Um, but God preserved us. We, we have insurance on our fish, fence, so we're going to get that fixed. And I just want to say to anybody that lost someone during Hurricane Milton, I just want to say my condolences and I pray that God comforts your heart and your soul. And if you lost a house, a car, anything, just know that God owns everything and that god can restore you and redeem you just read about job how he lost everything but god you know he never cursed god but god bless him with you know more than he could ever imagine and so i just want to like tell you like be encouraged like you know you still have your life you know what i'm saying like and that means that god has a purpose for you but yeah you guys so i'm super grateful to be alive and well and i just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog I'm Ashley. If you would like to subscribe, I am a Christian motherhood influencer. I love to encourage um, sharing the hope, strength, and salvation through of Jesus Christ through my journey, you know, pointing souls toward Jesus. 
you know, through my journey, showing like sharing testimonies, sharing real mom life or relatable mom life, um, growing in Christ, becoming that Proverbs 31 woman, um, being all God has called me to be, although I'm responsible for all of this and just, you know, really operating in like, you know, Jesus is Lord over my life, like really surrendering. Like that's like, you know, living for Jesus, like that's, um, really what I, you know, this is all about, you know what I'm saying? So if you're looking for that Christian mama friend, you want to grow in Christ together and just, you know, have an encouraging friend, you know, when you wake up or through the week, you know, I'm that Christian mama friend. But yeah, guys, make sure you, oh, catch my son's birthday vlog on shorts. Your girl be doing a lot of shorts because they're just much easier, but I'm, I'm not going to just stick to the easy. I'm going to start vlogging because I, I really love to vlog. I've been doing this for years. Um, and I do this in purpose. Um, but yeah, guys, so stay in case you're not Y'all have a blessed week. And remember, God is faithful. God loves you. God knows. Just trust God. Is that when? Oh my God. Stay in the Lord, y'all. Bye.